Shalom family. This is uh, Brother Yehusuf again. And uh, I'm titling this video Mashiach or Messiah. Now we're going to cover the name of the Messiah. Um, semi in depth, not really, but it's enough to, to gain a, a base level understanding about his name and why he has the name that he has. Um, but first, uh, I just want to say a quick prayer. Father, we thank you for everything that you are doing. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your will. We lift up your name. And Father, we just ask that you would continue to guide us into all truth. And we just praise your name, Yahuwah. And we just ask for favor. And I ask you, Father, that you would guide my words, guide the study. And I just pray that you would bless these words that they would break into the hearts of those that have the ears to hear. And and we just thank you and we love you. And in your son's name, Yahushua HaMashiach, we say Aman. So in this video, we're going to be breaking into the concordance. And we're just going to be breaking down a few things. Um, showing a few scriptures just so that you can get an understanding of who our Hebrew Mashiach is. So this is G2424. The G stands for Greek. Okay. Now, this when you look in your Bible, this is what you're going to see. This is the name that you will see. And this is the name that has been spread all throughout the world. Okay. And if you look at the bottom under help uh, word studies, it says that G2424 is the transliteration, not a translation, transliteration of the Hebrew word H3091. So this tells you, and obviously this is common knowledge, but the Greek name is not the original name. The original name is a Hebrew. Our Messiah, our Mashiach, is a Hebrew from the tribe of Judah, or Yehuda, which is one of the twelve tribes of Yisrael. The Mashiach's name was first written in the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and verse 16. And these are the names of the men sent Moshe to spy out the land and named Moses Moses named Husha Lahusha the son of Nun Yahusha okay Yod He Wa Shin Ayen five Hebrew letters and over on the right hand side you see the etymology of this word, the name of the Messiah, and it is uh, the derivative of the name of the Father, H3068, and the Avri word, Yasha, which means salvation or to save, Savior, and this is H3467. There are variants of spellings. You have the six letter and five letter variant. Um, but the oldest and original form of the name is the five-letter version, which phonetically says Yahusha. And in Yahusha 1.1, 1, 1, it says, Now after the death of Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, it came to pass that Yahuwah spake unto Yahusha, the son of Nun, Mo Moshe minister, saying, and I highlighted it in green. And uh, you see the, the Aleph and the Lamed um, and a little hash before the name. Um, but basically this, this is uh, kind of lifting up the name. It means Al. And, you know, that's basically saying that this person is a, like a mighty one. Al Yahusha, basically kind of lifting him up to to a position, 
you know, since he was the one that led the children of Israel into the promised land. And then this is the TS 2009 version of the Bible, um, which says the book of the genealogy of the of Yahushua Messiah, son of David, son of Abraham. And this is from um, the first chapter of Matith Yahu. And we're going to take a quick look at one of the fragments found in the Dead Sea Scrolls in the, the, the caves of Qumran. Um, that were found in, in um, like the 1960s or something like that. Um, but basically, this is the fragments of Joshua, chapter 6, 5, and 8. And you actually see the yod He ua shin ayin um, Yahusha, son of Nun. And keep in mind, this these scrolls um, predate the Messiah. These scrolls that they found are up to 300 B.C., give or take a few years. Don't quote me on that. But the some of the scrolls have been validated to predate the Messiah. And this is the name that was written down. yod He ua shin ayin And one more portion of scripture regarding the validity of the name. In um, TS 2009, Matif Yahoo 121, and she shall give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Yahusha, for he shall save his people from their sins. And at the bottom, okay, in the brown driver Biggs concordance, it shows you that the original form of the word was Yahusha, then Yahushua, and later Yeshua. Okay, so this these are the different variants of the name. Um, but to give full esteem to the name, I particularly choose to use the oldest and most original form of the name. And we're going to go over why this is. Here is Yeshua, a contracted form of the proper noun Yahusha and used in the later um, using the later form in the Greek, Isus. Okay, so all of these names come from Yod He Ua Shin Ayin. All of these other names, these translated names, these shortened names, these lengthened names, all of these other names come from the name Yahusha Yod He Ua Shin Ayin. And it means he is saved. This is what Yeshua means. Yeshua means salvation, but it means that he is saved. Now, that's great, okay? But this name tells of the one who is saved opposed to being the actual Savior. And not only that, this name excludes the name of the Father which is represented with the yod he ua in all cases where Yahuwah is the focal point of a name. This this is always the case that the yod he ua is always in there to point directly to the Father. So the name Yahu Sha means Yahuwah is salvation and that is the actual meaning of the name as per the concordance. This is what the name means. So if it doesn't have both portions of the name, then you're literally taking esteem from the Father. And that's where the esteem is due. I'm going to take a look at this. So this is the name of Husha. Um, and before Moshe changed his name to Yahusha, um, you know, this was his name. Hey, Uwa Shin Ayin. And I'm sorry I didn't bring the concordance number on this one, um, but you, you could look it up. Um, but it's also a derivative of Yod Shin Ayin, Yasha, which means salvation. Okay? If you look at if you look at this name, it'll tell you that the root word is Yasha. So Husha 
also means salvation, but the reason why he changed his name, he changed his name from Husha to Yahusha. And the Most High doesn't do anything for no reason. Everything that he does has a divine reason behind it. And we're going to take a look as to why he had to do this. He had to do this to give esteem to the Father. And this is why. Now, Yasha Yahu, Isaiah 43 and 10 through 13. Ye are my witnesses, says Yahuwah, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no L formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I am. Am Yahuwah. Quick side note, this is one of my favorite passages of scripture, so <laughs> I've really looked deeply into this one. But where it says I, even I, it, it actually says Anoki, Anoki, and it's a word that's pointing to himself. It's like saying I. So here it only says I, I. That's all it says. And so um, the, the even that you see there, it, it had to be interpreted. So they had to basically um, guess whatever they thought the Most High was saying. And here they said, I, even I am Yahuwah. But in my understanding, when he put Anoki, Anoki, what he was saying is that I, and only I, am Yahuwah. And beside me, there is no Mashiach. There is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have shown when there was no strange Elohim among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, says Yahuwah, that I am El. Yea, before the day was, I am He, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? Hallelujah. The reason why this is one of my favorite passages is because the Most High was declaring that He stands alone, that He is sovereign, that there is no Savior without Him. Without His will, nothing can be done. Everything requires the hand of Yahuwah. This is why I love this passage. <laughs> okay, this is another one of my favorites. Yahshayahu, Isaiah 45, 21-25 Tell ye, and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it from that time? Have not I, Yahuwah? There is no Elohim else beside me, a just El and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth. For I am El and there is none else. I have sworn by myself, and a word has gone out of my mouth in Zadika righteousness, and it shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall swear or confess. Surely shall one say in Yahuwah, I have righteousness and strength, even to him shall men come, and that all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. In Yahuwah shall all the seed of Yasharal be justified in glory. Hallelujah again. And here, once again, the Most High is declaring that there is no one else. He is sovereign and He alone is Mushaya, the Messiah. He alone can save and there is none that can take or remove someone from his hand. Okay? So, he is the Savior. And this is the reason why Moshe had to change Husha's name to Yahusha. Because in Yahshayahu 42 and 8, Yahuwah declares again that I am Yahuwah. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So the Most High is saying that, that he will receive esteem and glory for his works. 
Things that he does, ain't nobody else going to get glory for it. He is going to get the esteem and his name shall be praised. Hallelujah. For his works, because it is his mighty hands that allows these things to come to pass. Hallelujah. Even though Husha was the one that brought them into the promised land, Yahuwah had to get the esteem for it. This is why Moshe named him that. Because if Husha would have brought them into the promised land without his name changed, then the esteem would not have been given to him. Names are very important in Avri. This is why the Most High changed his name. Your name is not going to be Husha. I'm going to get esteem. Your name will now be Yahusha. Because I am the Savior. I am the Deliverer. And I will receive esteem for the children of Yashra all receiving the promised land. So anytime anyone is being delivered, Yahuwah must receive, he must receive esteem. And this is why the Messiah had this name, because he would be the Messiah to save the world, everyone. But again, Yahuwah must receive credit and the esteem due to him, because without his will, ain't nothing going to happen. And so this is why we give him esteem. And to prove this point, I want you to take a look at what Messiah says, okay? This is directly from the mouth of Mashiach. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can say against this. But this is from Yehuchanan, um, John 12, 23 through 28. And Yahusha answered them, saying, This hour has come, that the Son of Man, or the Son of Adam, should be glorified. Amen, amen, I say unto you, except a grain of wheat fall to the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it die, it brings forth much fruit. He that loves his life shall lose it, and he that hates his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, he will he, him will my father honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour but for this cause i came into this hour now watch him now father glorify your name then came there a voice from heaven saying i have both glorified it and will glorify it again so how did he glorify his name in this through the name of the messiah yahua plus Yasha equals Yahusha. And again, Yasha means savior, deliverer, protector, you know, the, the shield, you know, the mighty one, you know, the supreme Allahim, the most high, you know, El Elyon, the most high El Yahuwah. You know, this is how he esteemed his name. He esteemed his own name through the name of the Messiah. This is why Yahusha said, I come in my father's name, the fullness of his name, Yahu, Yahuwah. He is the Mushaya. He is Savior. This is why he said this. I come in my father's name. This is the words of Yahusha. And then he also said that if another man comes in his own name him you would receive he said that i come in my father's name and and you're not trying to hear me but another man is going to come and the whole world is going to receive him and i do not give esteem to that false name that false messiah because that greek name is key into the great delusion that name was satan's plan that was his plan the plan of gadriel the wall that one that would that would stop us from coming into the knowledge of the truth this was his plan to to just to 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 blot out the name of the father from from all of these bible translations and to change the name of messiah that he can found uh, uh, false religions on 
he founded false religions on this name. And I'm just a messenger because you know what? The Messiah's name gives full esteem to Yahuwah. Yahuwah is the Savior. This is why, this is why, because Yahuwah is sovereign. He is sovereign. The Messiah would not have come if Yahuwah didn't send him. He would have had no power. He would have had no abilities. And I'm going to bring out a study on this. But the Messiah said that he can do nothing of himself. That, but only what he sees the Father do. This is what he does. He also said that his words are not his own. He only speaks that which the Father commands him to say. This is what he says. And his works is the works of the Father. He said that he came here to do the will of his Father. And that the spirit of his Father that lives within him. That is the one that's doing all these things. That is the one walking on the water. That is the one raising these people from the dead. He is the one performing the miracles within me. I know this understanding might be kind of heavy for some people, but Yahuwah must receive the esteem. I am simply trying to be a messenger for Yahuwah because he needs to receive the esteem. So many people, you know, are praising this false Messiah and, and it's literally taking all the esteem from the Most High. You know, and he put it in my heart that that to, to, to tell people like, hey, like it's not just the Messiah. OK, nothing gets done without Yahuwah, you know, and he showed us his love through Messiah. He showed us his love. You know, the Messiah came here to do his father's will and his father's will was to show him or to show us just how much he loves us. That he would bear the bruises, that he would bear the crown, that he would humble himself. This is the will of Yahuwah, that he would show us just his how much he loves us. He loves us unconditionally, no matter how dirty we are, no matter how filthy we are. No matter how unworthy we are, he counts us worthy, but by his love, by his mercy, does he count us worthy. Hallelujah. And I just, I, I, we need to esteem his name. We need to lift up his name and give him credit for his works because he is worthy. He is worthy. When I was a Christian, I, I never understood why I didn't feel like I knew the Father. I felt like I knew J E S U S. And I had no relationship with the Father. He was this distant being. Who are you, Yahuwah? My soul would cry out and I would wonder, why don't I know you? And he sent me on a path to search for his name. He sent me on a path to search for who he is, to really open my eyes to the scriptures, that I can see him, that I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting an understanding of who he is, you know? A small portion of, 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 of the, the fullness that, that I never had as a Christian. You know, I'm, 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 I, I love Yahuwah. I love the Father. I, I, I feel like I know them now. Like I really do. Like just, I, I just pray that that you guys soak in His name, soak in the name of Yahuwah, soak in all that He is, soak in the love. You know, soak in His right ruling, soak in His judgments, soak in His instructions, because they are the are the instructions from a loving Father. Let us not disregard his commandments. Let us not disregard his instructions as if his words don't mean anything. Let us turn back to Yahuwah. Let us practice Avushat, that we would turn back to him for love, for instructions and in righteousness. He is the Elohim of Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and he loves us. Hallelujah. And with that, I'll say shalom.